Hey everybody, welcome to NSC TV at USA Cup. Yes, it is time once again for the Schwann's USA Cup International Youth Soccer Tournament. I'm on the campus of the National Sports Center here in Blaine, Minnesota. And over my shoulder, we have final team check-in for the USA Cup weekend tournament. And this year, it is a special year at our event. It is the 30th anniversary of Schwann's USA Cup. The event started in 1985 before the National Sports Center was even built. We're going to give you a little look at the history in a couple of minutes. But first, teams actually started arriving in Minneapolis a couple of days ago. So NSC TV, we took a field trip down to the Minneapolis St. Paul Airport to help greet some of the teams. Well, this year I've been able to work with guest players, so I've been talking to people from all over the world, which is a really cool experience. And today, the second batch of our groups for USA Cup are coming in, and we have a bunch of teams from Norway and a team from Sweden that are coming in. So we brought a group down here to help them answer any questions, bring them to their bus, make sure that they get set off on the right foot right away. Well now we'll have uh, three days uh, homestay in Brainerd. That will be very, very exciting. Getting to know some, uh, well, to stay with American families and learn American daily life. That will be good. And we were so excited to uh, be, um, get to know these people from other countries. Like my friends in Norway are so, they think it's so cool that we're going here and that we get to meet other people from other countries. Very. We were, this is a long-term goal for, for these guys for well, four years now, really. so we've been looking forward to this for a long time. We won Norway Cup in uh, 2010, I think. Yes, 2010. Yeah, 2010. And then it was, it was mostly Norwegian t themes. It was also a theme from Africa, but that's... Um, that's kind of all of the teams, so it's very fun to play to, against other cultures and other countries. It's Monday, Monday before USA Cup, and USA Cup gets rolling on Thursday, and just after the holiday weekend coming in, and it hits you, bam, like Thursday's coming, all the teams start coming, there's teams coming every day, refs start coming tomorrow, they start moving into the dorms tomorrow, so it's really happening. We're starting to set up registration and getting everything ready, so here it comes. That's a good attitude. <laughs> in it to win it. <laughs> okay. Well, it's fitting that we met a team at the airport from Norway because USA Cup was inspired by Norway Cup, which is in Oslo, Norway, every year. And like we said, this is the 30th anniversary of our tournament, so we decided to talk to some of the founding fathers who were there way back in 1985 and find out a little bit about how this whole thing got started. 1984, Sons of Norway was had an interest in trying to promote international understanding and kind of that Nobel Peace Prize theme from, uh, you know, that was part of their heritage. Norway Cup at the time was the world's largest international soccer tournament and they had um, 1,200 teams, I believe, back then. And we talked about um, creating an event similar to that in the United States. Looking back, it was really pretty ambitious to say you're going to start a soccer tournament and your goal is to become the largest youth soccer tournament in the nation in your first year. We hadn't had any sponsoring organization for youth soccer in Minnesota. It was all operated through volunteers and no business involvement at all. So it was a huge thing for us to step out of that box and say, okay, we're willing to partner with uh, an organization that's out there also working with youth and Sons of Norway was the one that stepped up first and, and said, here's a concept we have, and you work together with us. The first year, 1985, is totally unrecognizable from how the tournament's organized today. We had 10 soccer fields, two of which were newly sodded and were barely playable. Headquarters consisted of a screen tent with one uh, lawn chair in it and a small, like, fold-up inexpensive Walmart table. For schedules, we posted on tag board, just using black marker, so we just hand wrote the schedule and posted it that way. What I look forward to more than anything is just talking to coaches and kids from all over the world and watching them interact with other people at the event. For me, the excitement is seeing the kids come from all over the world and the referees and the uh, adult coaches and the group leaders. 
that uh, are all sharing in the, the same vision and the same activity of having kids meet each other and share uh, their experiences with each other. Once the uh, Schwanz USA Cup gets going, and I like to walk up to the top of the stadium and look out over all the fields and see in every direction kids and families, referees, coaches, all enjoying themselves. I mean, to see a sea of 30 to 40,000 people at one time on the site really makes my day. Well, as you heard, we have a long and storied history here of the Schwann's USA Cup Youth Soccer Tournament, and we think we'll be going strong in another 30 years. Now, we should mention that there will be a new episode of NSC TV at USA Cup every morning for the next 10 days. Make sure you download our mobile app as well. You can find it in the App Store and the Google Play Store. And you'll also want to make sure you catch every edition of the Daily Kick newspaper, which comes out around 7 o'clock every night. It's online. It can be emailed to you as well, as long as you sign up for the USA Cup newsletter on our website. So we will see you back here again tomorrow as we kick off the 30th year of Schwann's USA Cup. We kick off the 30th year of Schwann's USA Cup. <laughs> Beat the styrofoam. Okay, do a practice. Okay, want to do a practice? Yeah. yeah. Okay, go for it. One, two, three. You're watching NSC TV. Hey! All right, Jake, roll camera. How many takes do we get on this? Um, as many as we need. But we, we always like to include outtakes. Oh, good. So maybe you'll get to be an outtake. I'll probably be an outtake. Or two. Three.